Google Translate is an application to translate one language to another in real time. Google Translate is powered by the state-of-art AI technologies with neural networks. These include text, text-to-text -text translation, pen, handwriting recognition and translation, camera, text recognition, machine translation, and image synthesis, conversation, speech-to-text translation and speech synthesis, transcribe, speech-to-text translation. Some components work together as a cascaded system. Some are end-to-end -end models. This video will explain the technologies used in Google Translate. The basic form of neural machine translation is an encoder-decoder architecture. An encoder converts the input words to vectors, a decoder converts vectors to words in another language. In this model, both encoder and decoder use recurrent neural networks. But there are problems with RNN. Different languages have different grammars. The sequence of words in a sentence might not match between languages. Additionally, RNN has difficulty to remember long sentences. In 2016, Google pushed out Google's neural machine translation system. It inherited and enhanced the previous NMT models. Both encoder and decoder had eight layers of RNN, so that RNN were deep enough to catch subtle irregularities. Each layer ran on different GPUs to improve parallelism. Meanwhile, there was an attention module sitting between encoder and decoder. The attentional mechanism connected the bottom layer of the decoder to the top layer of the encoder to achieve better accuracy. The adding of an attentional mechanism overcome the short memory problem of RNN. Google team also made other tweaks in their NMT, such as adding one layer of bidirectional LSTM, residual connections, and bean search. All these changes greatly improved the performance of GNMT. In 2017, a groundbreaking transformer model was introduced. It was solely based on attentional mechanisms. The phrase, attention is all you need, means attentional mechanisms were used in both encoder and decoder and replaced RNN and CNN completely. In this model, both encoder and decoder have six stacked layers. Each layer has sublayers of multi-head self-attention and feed-forward. In the decoder, there is an additional sublayer of multi-head cross-attention. The cross-attention performs attention function over the output of the encoder layers. This attentional mechanism draws global dependencies between input and output. Transformer model is not a sequence-to-sequence -sequence transfer as RNN. In order to remember the relative or absolute position of the words in the sentence, a positional encoding layer is added at the bottom of the encoder or decoder stacks. A self-attention is an attentional mechanism which models relations between all words in a sentence. The attentional mechanism compares the given word to every other word. The result of the comparison is an attention weight for every other word in the sentence. Since there is no sequence, the self-attention functions can run in parallel. A multi-head self-attention has eight parallel attention heads. Their results are concatenated and projected as the output and sent to a feedforward network. The parallelization takes full advantage of modern machine learning hardware such as TPUs and GPUs, and it is the key to make the transformer efficient and fast. In 2018, they introduced hybrid architectures of NMT which combined a transformer encoder and a RNN decoder. They carried on the experiments and founded that hybrid models, mixed with transformer and RNN horizontally and vertically in the encoder, performed the best. In the past, Conversation translation used a cascaded system of three components, automatic speech recognition, text-to-text -text machine translation, and text-to-speech synthesis. The ASR and machine translation were combined to a single end-to-end speech-to-text translation system. In this system, the encoder has pre-trained ASR, the decoder has pre-trained MT. After the translated texts are generated, they are sent to downstream, which is text-to-speech synthesis. In 2019 and 2022, Google introduced the direct speech-to-speech -speech translation Translatitron and Translatitron 2 respectively. Both could translate speech from one language to speech in another language without the intermediate text representation. 
This system was also able to retain the source speaker's voice. Translatitron 2 approached the performance of the cascaded system. In this model, the encoder contains a speech recognition system conformer. The conformer combines convolution neural networks and transformers. The decoder uses multi-layer LSTMs. It generates linguistic information. A single multi-head attention sits between the encoder and decoder. A synthesizer performs speech synthesis using a duration-based system non-attentive tachytron. The synthesizer is conditioned on the output from both decoder and the attention. After the synthesizer generates spectrograms, a neural vocoder, such as WaveNet or WaveRNN, converts spectrograms to time-domain waveforms. Google Translate provides handwriting and instant camera translation. The technology behind both is optical character recognition. Let's look at handwriting OCR first. The first steps is to convert the sequence of points into a sequence of cubic Bezier curves. Next a multi-layer recurrent neural network converts the curves into matrix with a probability distribution over all possible letters. Then the CTC decoder output the characters. The instant camera translation allows you to point the camera at documents or public signs and translate them. The pipeline includes OCR, machine translation, and image synthesis. The text detection uses region proposal network to extract the text in the image and puts the bounding boxes around the text. Then the text recognition uses NLP-based networks and CTC to convert the extracted information to construct meaningful sentences. When OCR identifies characters, it also determines the metadata, such as size, font, color, and camera angle. The recognized texts are fed into GNMT for translation. Down the pipeline, the translated texts are rendered on the top of the original text in the same style, matching the original font, size, and length. It also uses generative adversarial networks to rebuild the pixels underneath to make the translation look natural. That's how Google Neural Network Translation works. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.